It's a big milestone for researchers at Utah State University's Space Dynamics Laboratory. Now the lab is leading a mission for NASA that will include sending a device to the International Space Station. Fox 13's John Franke explains how the data collected in this project will have an impact on our daily lives. It takes a really lot of effort to uh, compete at that level and be awarded an entire mission like this. NASA has awarded Utah State's Space Dynamics Laboratory a contract to investigate how weather events on Earth cause gravity waves, creating disturbances high above us. Some of them uh, penetrate up into that region and then stir things up. That region is the ionosphere. When particles get stirred up up there, it impacts satellite communications that must pass through that region on their way to Earth. Ever received a pixelated signal on your TV when it's stormy? This is why. It can affect how well you you map your uh, your canoe trip down the river on, with your GPS or how good your I Love Lucy reruns come through. Bert Lamborn is the project manager, part of the team of 50 and Logan, working to create a device like this. It'll include four telescopes in a cylinder and send data back to Earth in real time. But before it can do that, it'll be tested in Logan before being turned over to NASA. Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and they will launch it to the space station using a SpaceX rocket or a Sierra Nevada rocket. The instrument is on track to be completed by September 2022. It's really a Logan, Utah centric mission that's going to revolutionize how scientists understand how Earth weather affects that layer of space weather. This is the first time the SDL has managed a mission for NASA at this level. The impact of the data it unearths will be felt around the world. Everything from sensitive military communication satellites to GPS units to communication satellites, um, all of that should be improved. John Franke, Fox 13 News. You